I want you to listen to me very carefully. Any government that feels the need to take its citizens' guns away is a government that is likely about to do something that its citizens might shoot them over. Do not doubt me on this. 100% of countries, empires, kingdoms who, who have disarmed their citizens have gone on to commit atrocities. Once you take away people's ability to defend themselves, the government can do whatever they want. You might not care about guns. It just may not be your thing. That's okay. But that's the gateway to taking away something that you do care about, and then you won't be able to do anything about it. I guarantee you this. If you care about your free speech, your right to be secure in your home and your effects, the right to vote, the Second Amendment is the only thing standing in the way from an administration ending all of that, just like this. That's why our founding fathers put it in there. Kamala Harris has become the most recent face of government coming to take your stuff. On Saturday, she got trotted out there to spike the football by spending three quarters of a billion dollars to encourage states to be more aggressive with red flag laws. That's money, by the way, that Mike Johnson's Congress, a Republican Congress, approved. The second reason I am here is to announce that today I am launching the National Resource Center for Red Flag Laws. And this National Resource Center will be a place where we will, through that, provide for training for local leaders on how to use red flag laws and keep communities safe. Red flag laws for the greater good. You can pound sand. First, we have an inherent right to own, possess, and carry firearms here in America. That's been decided. These red flag laws are really dangerous. But uh, let me back up. What is a red flag law? A, re a red flag law is a law allowing courts to prevent people who show signs of being a danger to themselves or others from having access to firearms as by ordering the seizure of a weapon. Sounds great, right, on paper. Let's get keep guns out of the hands of crazy and dangerous and people who are a threat, right? I mean, it, it, it's great, right up until the point you figure out that your political enemies get to define what crazy and dangerous and what is a threat. The Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. And that is a threat to this country. Think I'm kidding. The FBI declared parents who were, were right, by the way, parents who spoke out about COVID policy at school board meetings, they called us domestic terrorists. They did this with the no-fly list. These liberal loons, they came after me with like every left-wing rag when I disagreed with them on this. When I said that you should not have to have your gun rights removed for being on the no-fly list, here's why. I asked the simple question, how do you get on the no-fly list? What's the criteria? No one could answer that. And I said, then you should not remove people's unadjudicated rights until there is a legal criteria. Not because some bureaucrat said so. That's what they do. It was just the next thing. But that's what they do. They use tragedy or, or fear as their cover. They play to the emotional side of people. Oh, if you're on the no-fly list, you're definitely a terrorist because the G-man said so and terrorists shouldn't have guns. I mean, yes, obviously I agree with the premise of that. But it's who gets to decide what a terrorist is or how you get on that list. Apparently, I am for not wanting to have my kids wear masks at school. You see how crazy this all is? Their party acolytes are also doing it. They're doing this at a school board meeting. We're terrorists for not wanting the over-sexualization of our young kids? Wow, that's a leap. And now they say these red flag laws are going to help mitigate mass shootings. Oh, yeah? Let's look at some data on that. Because it turns out more mass shootings in red, right there, every year, happen in states with those red flag laws. Just like gun-free zones, where over 90% of these mass shootings happen as well. They're not going to stop anything. This is just the next bureaucratic line of tyranny. They fill out a form and then enter you into a database. And then in order to prove yourself innocent, you're not guilty. You're not innocent until proven guilty. You're guilty until proven innocent under these red flag laws. It's going to cost you a year of legal fees and then court battles just to get your rights back. And if the government was wrong, nothing happens to them. Meanwhile, you're out 50 grand in legal fees to fight the state on something they never had the right to do in the first place. This isn't about guns, folks. Guns are in their way. But how long before it's your kids? Some states are already doing this. Oh, you don't want you to affirm your kid's gender because they're a boy and they're not actually a girl? Well, well, we're taking your kid, you know, for the greater good. You're a threat to your own child. 
That's all according to the state. I mean, this literally happened to a friend of mine. See the dangers of going along with the left cells as common sense? Common sense ain't too common on that side. They, they are a party of tyrants. Don't, they don't see you and I as people. We're like second-class citizens to these folks. Don't take my word for it. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. They asked me, would I like to debate this gentleman? And I said, no. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? <laughs> Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> <laughs> now they're investigating your bank records, even canceling your accounts. If you've written anything about Trump or MAGA, credit card companies are tracking you. If you buy a gun, willingly handing it over to the FBI. We're seeing this with Trump. Let's find some BS judge with a BS attorney general to render a BS ruling for $450 million for a BS charge, and then let's try to take his property because of it. Just light the Fourth Amendment on fire. Guns are just in the way, folks. Gun ownership is an easy thing that m mostly defines what political party you're affiliated with. Republicans own guns at a three-to-one ratio to Democrats, and of the Democrats that do own guns, over 90% of them are in favor or would go along with stricter gun control. They appeal to an emotional side of this. They use dumb phrases like common sense gun control. I'm so sick of that one. Call anyone who opposes their... Oh, if you oppose gun control, me taking your guns that you lawfully own, if you oppose that, you're for gun violence. Nobody is for gun violence, except the criminals that Democrats refuse to prosecute and lock up. Let me tell you why, though. This is really dangerous. You think... What they're doing to Trump is bad? Just wait. Remember what he always says? In the end, they're not coming after me. They're coming after you, and I'm just standing in their way. He's right. They're not coming after just your guns. They're coming after everything else. You don't think Democratic extensions of the media will declare you crazy, a danger, because they're your political opponent? They will. They're doing it already. They just did it to the softest, like, non-Republican Ronna McDaniel, basically calling her the devil. They did literally call her the devil. Folks, I, I thought we would have learned this from COVID. If the government can circumvent the Constitution to strip you of your rights, or humanity, or because of an emergency, or a threat, or a crisis, what's to stop them from declaring an emergency, threat, or crisis every time they want to violate your rights? How long before they declare anyone who doesn't want to give up their guns or any other right a threat? Think I'm wrong? Think again.